How's it going, everyone? You're watching China Connors Wi-Fi Pokemon Battle videos. We're here for a live narration, as I will be trying to do more of these as the Generation Showdown is approaching. So, um, today we have a test to see if we can use Counter Gastron. So if we get that accomplished, that'll be great. If you enjoy this narration, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe, as that really helps out my channel. Not gonna lie. Alongside Mega Pidget and Gastrodon, we have Pangoro, Choice Scarf, Electivire, Focus Sash, Mawile, Choice Bandit, and Shuckle, who's going to hopefully set up Sticky Web if we have to. Alright, here's our opponent. Let's take a look at his opponent's team here. Or, that was kind of a weird narration, but never mind that. Alright, he's got himself a Dolphin, a Wolverine, a Lantern. He's got himself a Metagross, Superior, and Slowbro, so we have a couple of things we do electricity. That means that Lantern most likely has the Voltage Orb ability. I really want to bring Gastrodon to this battle just for the heck of it. I mean, I see Metagross, so we'll bring that guy in. I feel like I should bring Mega Pigeon as well for Superior. Um... And as a leadoff, I'm definitely going to start out with Electivire. Because I could probably sponge anything. Like, I can hit everything usually. Not gonna lie there. Yeah. So, a recap here. I'm bringing Electivire, Gastrodon, and Mega Pidget. Alright. Let's get to this spell. Hope you all like it. I haven't done this in a while. That's why I'm kind of rusty on this stuff. Two on three battles are not my thing, though. That's the thing. And if I am good at them, that means I'm choosing whatever is best. Because, like, I, I choose my Pokemon based on what my opponent's team is most weak to. In this case, it's electricity. Alright, then. He has Superior, but you know what? I have Ice Punch. This is a weird Electivire set. He goes for Tongue. I'm not really sure what he is expecting me to do there. Hmm. Well, Electivire can run Tonk too, but not on this set, actually. I was really considering running Tonk on this Electivire, but I don't really see the reason to do that. Electivire is not that fast, first of all. And he's generally used as a Choice Scarfer, a Choice Bandit set, or Focus Sash for my set. So, I'm going to go for another Ice Punch as he goes for Leech Seed. Hmm, this is very interesting. We don't see Leaf Storm yet, although it's likely that he has it. Ooh, you've got yourself a Citrus Berry. That is very, very interesting. Now, he has Leech Seed up, but guys, I don't feel like switching out because if... Like, I have Mega Pigeon, I could do that, but my opponent knows that, most likely, because, like, you have to think about it, you know? You have to think of what Pokemon you're going to bring, and you gotta be careful of those threats. So, I'm going to stay and go for another Ice Punch, just to be safe, and he has Lantern. Probably expected me to go into Mega Pigeon right there. Now, I can't go for Volt Switch just because I am wary of the Volt Absorb ability. Alright, so, the Selective Fire is also carrying Earthquake. Now, I am kind of hesitant because he could go back into Superior after this. But I really want to keep going for these moves, even though that might not be the best strategy in the whole world. It's a great idea to do that, because you never know what your third Pokemon is. My opponent is very mysterious with his third Pokemon. But we do a good amount to the Lantern, which is amazing. I'm really happy. Should I go for Ice Punch, or should I go for another Earthquake? Hmm. Because... My opponent knows I probably brought Mega Pigeon, and guys, I did bring Mega Pigeon, so he's probably good at predicting that kind of stuff. Now, he is switching on going back into Superior. That I am not worried about, because um, I have Mega Pigeon, like I said, so 
we are going to continue going with the pressure here with Electivire, even though the leech C is up here. I know his strategy with that. And I can't switch out and go into Gastrodon knowing that he could go for a Leaf Storm and liber liberate. Whatever that word is called, a blur. Can't speak. Anyways, so when I turn your coin back in, I went for Volt Switch. Just because I feel like, you know, why would he want to keep on switching out back and forth? That's not a really good strategy. But he called my bluff right there. That is a good play there by my opponent. Now we're going to go for another earthquake. Yep, we need to go for another earthquake. And you're asking yourself, like, why are you doing this? Like, what kind of battle are you doing, man? What kind of battle are you going into? Well, this is live recording, so you never know what's going to happen in a live narration. So, as I expected, another switching of Superior is coming. And he knows that Earthquake's coming, and I'm like, you know what? Let's just go for that. Alright. We're going to go for an Ice Punch again. Or, at this case, or in this case, actually, he could go for a Leaf Swarm now. Because I'm at low health, I could switch into Pidget expecting that, but... Leaf Swarm coming from Superior is actually pretty stronger than you guys think it is. And as I thought, he has Contrary. Alrighty then. So that's the first Pokemon out of this fight. Electivire, you did a great job in this fight. Not going to lie. Mega Pidget, you're going to be in here. Shout out to Necro Stevo, he traded me a Mega Pidget. Well, actually a regular Pidgey, but I trained it up to a Mega Pidget. So, we're going to go for Hurricane, because we can confuse the land current if he wants to bring that back in, or we can just take out Superior. So, if you guys have any weird battles in the battle spot, let me know, because I've had a couple of strange battles. This one is pretty long, it looks like. My opponent is pretty good at predicting, it looks like. And he's going for Taunt. What is he expecting me to do there? I'm not sure. But we're going to go for Hurricane. And we're going to take out Superior just like that. Now, what I like about this Pidget set is that it has hidden power ground. That would take care of Lantern. You think I could take out Lantern from that health that he's at right now? I really don't know, but we need to try it out. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go for Hidden Power Ground, and hopefully it's strong enough to take care of Lantern. Alright, let's do that. Let's do that! Boom! There you go, and we don't take out Lantern. Wow. That is so, so unfortunate. Oh well, he goes for Volt Switch, but I'm pretty bulky. I know that a Thunderbolt might KO me, but Volt Switch would not, so... Let's reveal his last Pokemon. That is actually his dog fan. I could switch out and go into Gastron. But I am wary of the Ice Shard. Like, yeah, I could switch into Gastron. That could be a good idea, but what if he doesn't have Ice Shard? I've run into a couple of dog fans that don't have Ice Shard, so. Yep, as I predicted, he doesn't he doesn't have that, so and holy crap, that brings it down to his sturdy. Thunder Fang that is actually not a reliable move. Just saying. But yeah, I find into a lot of Dolphin that don't have Ice Shard. I'm not really sure why you should run you should run Ice Shard on your Dolphin. We're almost done with this battle, guys. We have Gastrodon, who I really hope I get a chance to use Counter. Counter for the win. For those who are not aware, Counter is that move that will bounce back double the damage to physical moves. As much as I want to try using Counter right now, I really see a Lantern coming in. Or not. Huh. Because I went for Toxic knowing that there's 
lantern coming in and all that. I over predicted. Oh my goodness, that is unfortunate. Because you know what? That means that I can't use counter. Wow. Well, you tried, Gastrodon. You really tried. Well, not really. But, I mean, we take out Gonfan. That, that's, that's, that's awesome, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but we have Lantern, who is specially based. That means that counter would not work. If I had Rare Coat, that would have been a much better option. I don't know if Gastrodon gets, gets Mirror Coat. I know he gets counter, but not Mirror Coat. If he does, then that would be a good idea, actually. Put it on him. Alright, well, what should we do here? I think we're going to go for a Toxic. He's going for Ice Beam and he gets the Freeze! Oh no, he gets the Freeze. Come on. Alright, cool. We get out. Good job, Gastagon. I never ever get that first turn Freeze. Getting thought out, all that good stuff. Especially if you're going for Skull, because I didn't go for Skull right there. That would have been a good idea, though. But you know what? We're going to do that the next time. Because having Toxic up means that I can go ahead and get a little bit of extra damage onto the Lantern. And we can finish him off with a Skull. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. And that should do it, guys. That was a great battle there by my opponent. If you enjoyed this, be sure to hit that like button. And subscribe for some Generation Showdown matches coming later this weekend. Alright, you guys have a great day, and I hope you all liked it. Alright, bye now.